dropping from the slows and right clicks from Reflection and these double blink strikes with that Orb of Venom. So I think GH has to be a little bit careful of his positioning as he steps pretty far up. Yeah, Reflection to try and slow it down. Like you said, the Orb of Venom there. All the damage in the world and no save for GH, who is going to go down. Duraccio drawing that first blood. Played very far up. Maybe they thought that Tofu had just gone back or something. Cause they, I don't know if they saw the salve. His face right now. <laughs> he's literally just grinning the whole time in the laning phase. There's uh, rotation now, though. Sumail, I believe he's hit six, so there's a boat available. Oh, you got to watch out for Ace. those those little creeps. Those little creeps do a lot. They don't let you regen. The boat pulls him back in, trying to kill him off. Not enough heal to keep him alive, and they both go down. Great moves. The rotations right now from Nygma are just a little bit better than the side of Gaming Gladiators, the way they helped mid, and now immediately with the two supports, rotate yeah, stop Nygma Galaxy. But they do see Quinn. They have that ward there, Quinn, popping that arcane rune. Runs on in, wants to find him. It's oh, catch. they're right on top of him. Oh, look at the cast bounce back and forth. The damage, Ace the tries to regen, gets full healed off of Celery and the rest of them. Celery living through it, the stun, it's going to be enough. And now Ace, he's fully encapsulated in. And they will blow up MC okay. with the Quinn damage. And Ace actually lives through it. He walked into four heroes and walked out. <laughs> he's walking. They're heading just past the other direction. But there is a ward. It just spots him right there. Duraccio, he's going to get caught. Do they have enough damage, though, to bring him down? Oh, An yeah. arrow, it uh -oh. hits onto the creep. Oh, gets no out of there with the Sunder. Dude, he was on no HP. GH now going to get ran down. Kuro couldn't sneak it past the creep. And they get turned on. Oh, it just survives too long. They couldn't get the angle. And that's a second time now. A failed rotation onto Duracho and quickly turned on from Gaming Gladiators. And now they can push tower. The Witch Doctor's pushing. They have the dart on line two now. So perhaps going to catch MC as well. Don't Got even need the lasso. Found. Sumail can't get in there quick enough to come and help this. It's working. It is working. Dude, the healing numbers in this game are going to be off the charts. Yeah. And their pickoff lineup is working. You know, the Nigma is actually the one kind of looking. And not really that afraid at the moment. The arrow's there. Maybe he uh -oh. should be. Have a toss back. The heal. They move into position. The save is there. Quinn, he's going to live through it. And now the chase. He's got eyes on Amar. He's got him caught. Going to pull him back into the fray and tear him down. Now Tofu is going to go down. There they in a bit too far with the rest of Nygma Galaxy. Well, toss into all of them. Ace, he gets healed back up by the Io. No Living way. through it, dude. What is this build? Ace, he's going <laughs> to eventually okay. be brought down. But he tanked through so much. They got the Io to separate. They couldn't actually keep on top of each other. Now, maybe going to get another chain of kills. This is what happens when friendship ends. You tear the Io away and then ends up falling. Is under attack. Okay. MC's back now. Still a bit under level. Oh. Again, total healing 13,000 for the IO. Um, and, you know, we saw there the brief numbers for Ace, too. Uh, they are doing everything. 24,000 healing. Quinn is going to get caught. Avatos dead. Oh, and Relocate now they, in. Okay. They move in. Amar there. They can't get the Maledict onto him, but instead find it onto GH and Kuro. They're not killing Celery. So even though he's able to get right on top of them, they don't have the damage they need. Now, Voodoo Switcheroo back away from Sumail. Tidal Wave connects onto both. Ace trying to live through this one. They get the Sunder. Maledict. Keep him alive, but Amar starting to drop the heal. It's still there. Duraccio, he's not falling. He still has ages, he's too. He's living through that entire time. MC getting ran down now. GH trying to create a little separation. But Io in the area, healed back up all the way to full. But Io starting to drop. Do they have enough damage? He <laughs> gets away. <laughs> the seal totem. It's still too freaking good. Ace, he turns around, drops the ulti right onto MC. They will get the avalanche to try and interrupt this. But everybody on Gaming Gladiator is still so strong. And Duraccio heals back up his Witch Doctor. The Voodoo switcheroo, the turnaround takes him down. That feels like it's it. And four still five still alive for gaming gladiators given the tip everybody <laughs> loving what they're seeing from ace they're all smiling i mean every single one of them in the camera on the side of gaming gladiators Forty-four thousand healing the strat has absolutely worked <laughs> and they're playing around him the sunder into instant pop satanic on Duraccio. they're playing fully around this witch doctor dude it is devastating to lose to this <laughs> saving private ace is what it feels like is lasso they pull him in again they'll find sumail Stun connects onto Duraccio, but the real carries, they're still alive. 
They find the finish on to MC. Wow. This is going to just about do it, I think. A one last buyback, maybe. Sumail has one, too. And anything coming out for them. He didn't have time to finish off that Shiva's guard. He's going to have to buy back here. Ace has one. He uh, has his Shiva's. They're, they're ready. Oop. Okay, get the toss back. And now GH maledicted. Casket bouncing. And yeah, GH is going to die. Waiting for them to get close to the fountain so they can tidal wave in. Sumail GG. looking. Torrent connects. But yeah, GG is going to be called. They did not stand a chance. The Witch Doctor. The healing's too strong from the doctor. Coming to a pub's near you. IO Witch Doctor. It was around about two months ago or a month and a half ago in the some of the higher MMR pubs. Um, I didn't see it as an off lane. I think I mostly saw it in like safe, but yeah, it worked. It looked pretty damn good. Every single time Nigma tried to fight with their big team fight and stuff like that, Death Prophet almost insta dies. It feels like they overcommit and they just have no damage. Everyone's full health every I single know. fight. <laughs> I I think that there's like moments in Dota where it's like there, there aren't many other games where something like that could happen where this hero that uh, Tango passed over to him do you like this switch up I mean Nigma's winning the lanes it looks like so far hmm I kind of I mean right now with the winning lanes it's good but I, I actually like I still like the way gaming gladiators lane setup is, is working out but right now they do have at least the arrow combo right that we are seeing them try to pair up and Ooh. they're gonna get the kill yeah that is a very nice one there for him okay so right now, yeah, looking really good. I mean, mid, of course, this is the standard kind of matchup for Death Breath. Very aggressive on this Ember Spirit since he sees that Sumail has left the lane. He doesn't have to worry about too much of the stun combo slash silence yet. It will start being a bit more difficult for him in some moments. And whoop, oh. He doesn't actually get the rune. Yeah, Remnant away too quickly. He saw the arrow coming in Whoops. and was worried about it, but MC? RP used and Ace. He's going to drop. That's a solo kill. Well played. But MC, can he get out after? They have Bushwhack ready to go. Going to connect onto him, and Quinn comes on in for the cleanup. Okay, a solo kill for the Madness. Yeah. That is excellent there for MC. Get him started. Good levels, level 8. Starting to see these three. Actually, all the networks back into an out of, out of position plays. They still have this ward here. On the side of Enigma Galaxy, they could perhaps try to set up onto Duraccio. A big catch. There's dart. the sleeping dart. The rest of the team trying to move in. MC, RP, pull back, skewer. Got him caught. The silence is there. Arrow to follow. And it's enough, but the Glycanir catches onto three, and Quinn right on top of all of them with that arcane rune going to town. Do they have the damage, though, to bring down Sumail? It's pretty tough. Ooh, it's the last siphon, though. And Tofu. Right on top of him, Quinn there also, and Amar, he shows up, has BKB and God Strength, but the Bushwhack catches on the boat, uh -oh. he didn't pop Amar. BKB. Snowball, but they have the punch, he's dead. Amar dropping quickly, no, he he's gets the eight. Amar, he's too strong. Oh, I called it too soon. <laughs> the boy is big, the boy is big. The little bit of life steal, that Mask of Madness, it actually gives him enough sustain to survive. <laughs> is there, does have the blink to get away. So Tofu, he's fine. They see Duracho though, this ward, it stayed full duration. That's that's really good for them. And wait a minute, they're not going all the way in. RPUs now, they still have things to turn this here. A snowball save. No, they no. can't pull him inside. Oh, really good play by Nigma. Amar just right on top of him, shutting that down. And Nigma covering their bases as they find the Sleeping Dart now onto the Hoodwink. Clutch plays abound. Nigma not happy with what happened last game and looking for some retribution. Clutch ward. I mean, this ward is kind of doing everything for them these last few minutes. And they're going to be fine. Mm -hmm. Again, like you said, taking some inspiration from Southeast Asia, the region that's been playing this the most, it feels like, but Duraccio spotted again. And from downtown, the arrow comes out. Might have had a chance to Manta, but couldn't come out in time and now completely isolated going to get dropped they could not do anything in time and they have another sleeping dart this time on a tofu break is there but the arrow comes out a little off the mark but amar ready to clean up three dead nigma have just have all the answers yeah and playing just like you said completely around vision it's been karaoke a menace this time around mm -hmm. and now roche it's the next thing on the menu 40 seconds for exo it's over to that side of the map. A cloak of flames found. They do have vision there of Kuro. They see him. And a walrus punch trying to kill off that pesky risky. Four staff, push him away. But already Tofu dead. 
Kuro. Wrath of Nature, Kuro in trouble, but it's they get the control. Oh, and there it is. They find the RP connection and will bring down Ricky, but it comes at the cost of so many other lives. Quinn tries to TP out, almost doesn't get away. If MC's a little closer, perhaps up for Sumail. As you can see very much, the esportsbet.io odds into the favor right now of Enigma in this game at the very least. Sumail jumps in, MC tries to find an, a target, and the RP is there onto two. They're BKB, but it doesn't matter. Amar is just ripping through them, and Tofu tries to get the blink back. Not quite going to happen. Celery also in trouble. Duraccio hiding off in the trees, but there is nowhere left to hide. A triple kill for Amar. The only one left alive is Tofu, and, well, they are going to eventually go back for the Tier 2 tower, which is still at full HP. Oh. Amar playing on his Sven, and we said he was going to need to be the one that carried in the late game. Sumail could make that space for the early side of it, and they've done just that. And Well, finding another target right now. Tofu there with the snowball. It the comes cloud. out of it, though. There, it's trouble. Quinn not able to stop that skewer pullback. And the jump in <laughs> Sumail puts the emphasis on it. With the overwhelming blink, Bushwax try and slow it for the moment, but Amar, he runs in, he finds his target. Enigma Galaxy going to, again, take some good damage from that round Downtown. They find their man, and Sven heading on in here, close, but not quite on him. Keeps vision, they find Ace, but Amar needs to be a little careful. Sumail, he blinks in too. He's so tanky. They just, it does, like, if you can't win this fight, you're not winning any fight. Ace, he TPs away. Quinn, Duraccio right there on top of him. The RP pulls back onto both the Snowball save, though. But it's okay. on the smoke screen. Do they have anything when they get out of there? No, the turn. Amar, he's bringing them down, ripping them to shreds. Three are gone, and Quinn tries to escape, but the slowdown is there, and the Ember Spirit 2 will fall. A godlike Amar, 32 minutes in, and well, He's dropping <laughs> the flag in the fountain. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, he's feeling, yeah, I mean, he's like, what, three items behind versus Amar at this point. Amar pops Warcry with the AC, and everybody's just far too tanky. So now 71 armor next to Warcry. The Sprout, though, is this going to be the big answer? We'll see. The pushback is there. They can try and slow him down. Amar has to get four staff from the rest of his team to get out of there. They've already killed off Tofu. And Amar is somewhat low. Go back to that. Yeah. Level 24. They're gonna look to perhaps jump back in. MC. He sees a target. He's gonna go for the RP. Quinn, right there. Stun. Salary dead. Gleipnir onto a couple. Reflection is out. Able to dodge some of that damage as Quinn Amar gets four staffed out of the trees. And thinking about who are they gonna run into? Ricky's on the other side. Sumail's there. There's still an RP ready too. Yeah. MC, if he's positioned properly, this could just be the end of the game immediately as also an Ag Sven now too, so something we haven't seen in some time, the Superman Sven. Or they jump in, they find one, target right away, how dare you sprout me earlier. They find and kill him, but Amar getting low. Don't know if it's gonna end up mattering as the rest of the team comes into position. Arrow goes out, not gonna connect onto Quinn. He slept the turn, the snowball, control for a moment as they're gonna chase him down. Bushwhack onto a couple, but the cloud was there, nowhere left to go. They have shown the value of this Ricky here on Kuro. And, well, eyes on the prize. Nigma. they're going to head on back over. Oh, they see Duraccio. Okay, immediately <laughs> jump on to the poor old Terrorblade. Four stepped away for a moment, but the stun's going to be there. MC pulls him in, RPs him down, and GG is finally going to be called. Tied up the series. Going to game number three. And this time it's just really nice plays coming out for Nigma Galaxy of a lot coming from Sumail, kind of destroying the mid lane and setting the tempo, taking mid tower at seven minutes and stuff like that. I feel like that did set the basis for them to just get all these aggressive plays, but then the vision, right? Oh, yeah. These wards from Kuro, he's able to over. sneak around with this Ricky, get the dart plays, never letting Duraccio get off the board. And really early on in the game, right after Amar shows up and gets that like quad kill kind of thing, it feels like there's nothing Gaming Gladiators has left. Yeah, it was uh, it was a pretty bad beatdown from that point yeah. on. What is it, 42 to... about? 
And Celery doing a good job of getting a couple denies, uh, rather just one deny in there. But now, Caster cursed him. LSA a little bit off the mark, trying to buy a little bit of extra time for their tree to get out of harm's way. Very tanky, but in the end, it's Amar that draws first blood. Nicely done. They get the level two faster. They get these extra denies. You see Amar with those four denies actually making a big difference versus Duraccio and versus Celery. The other thing they always have to watch out too is we don't see it too often anymore in the early game, but there is the potential for even my control TPing down here. If they see like a step up too far from game gladiators, tag team with two arrows and the dive. Well played by Quinn. Gets the rundown onto Sumail, and GH will show up to help out with that one. Uh, but yeah, like you're talking about, that rotation coming from a slight dodge at the last seconds, but stepping into a bramble could just be your demise also in a lot of situations. So. Not fast Quinn really just playing the bully game here. But that being said, and for anybody who remembers the old schools of Sumail, when he did die, what, five, six times at DAC, and when he was the early young boy of Celery, will drop to Amar, he can always try to, he can always recover. Yeah, those rotations coming out to the sidelines, and of course now, the snowball dodge. Oh, well played with Kuro and Duraccio now, in a world of hurt, but Quinn makes the rotation. He's gonna find both of these heroes. They don't have nearly enough damage to deal with this Batrider. Oh, Quinn. Four kills to start the game, two on his mid opponent. Oh, he's gonna be such a menace. Level six already picked up. It's four minutes and she catches up super fast, but this could be painful Ooh. for Duraccio. And Tofu makes this long walk down here. Ooh. They don't know about this. They know that Quinn is big, but do they know about Tofu? Body Getting blocks. body blocked while Invis. He knows. Lamar realizes there's a little bit of trouble moving in, and they find that Viper gonna kill him off. MC makes the rotation. Duraccio in trouble, going to die. Sumail moving down bottom also. This is the cleanup that they really need on Nigma, And they manage to bring down both of the bottom laners. I love this TP. I always like seeing these Nature's Prophet TP early on. Even before the Wrath, you see how much damage that he's able to do. With Smoke plays trying to catch somebody out of position. Yeah, they have this Viper, Ember, Nature's Prophet core that is going to struggle versus this heavy team fight and scaling of gaming gladiators. So really want to kick the pace up and get a tower advantage, get Roche advantage, etc., to slow down this Lina's. Perhaps they can find Duraccio here. Ooh, instead, Ooh. it's MC that goes down. They are going to chase forward, find him there. LSA, pump fake, not going to throw it out. They finally do, and Ace shows up. Ravage going to connect onto one. Quinn, I set onto a couple of different heroes, can't make up his mind. Amar's on him. And this is a huge problem. The connection, the snowball through, they're all dying. They run in now with Celery, but it's a triple kill for Amar. GH is still alive. Oh, man. Not sure what the correct decision was there, but they get punished hard. Enigma. <laughs> Look where Ace yeah. is. He just farmed a hard camp. He's about to go down bottom to cut a wave. Enigma, though, on the hunt, trying to prevent this greed from being established. They're playing this so clean, and Ace just walks out there. Pop the rune, get in vision. Ace TP's away immediately. MC, the they get him. The root's there. Well done, and Ace is going to get punished, as will the Dark Willow. So good movement by Nigma. get a couple quick kills. Keep punishing the greed, they see somebody top, they're already instantly TPing to look to set up there. Having a blink on Tusk also, they're going to keep being able to make these aggressive moves. Just a well, bit. Blink's also now on the side of Gaming Gladiators, they have ways to get into the back line now. It's down the vision, takes it away, Sumail thinking about running in. Quinn's Goes off the to the Shadow up. Realm, but they've got him underneath the tower. But the jump back, is it going to be enough? Stolen Lasso, Ravage down. That's Amar dead one time. Tofu in trouble as Kuro beating him down. Ace doesn't have that much left in the tank, but the LSA is going to connect. Duraccio beating into him with that BKB, but the Lasso stolen by Rubik to keep Amar alive. Is it going to be enough, though? No, the Laguna Blade comes out, and that gets the separation that they need to kill off the Viper. Snowball onto Duraccio, tree armor is going. They don't have enough damage. Kuro falls. Enigma now have to run with the rest of them. Trying to get out of there. Curse of the old growth. As Quinn, they throw down the Bramble Maze. Root so there. Punk. It's a ton of damage onto everybody. Sumail, but he gets caught. The LSA connects. And a couple more hits. Duraccio caught him from the side. MC, they're all going down one by one. He's able to dodge away for a moment, but the minus armor, a couple more hits come in from Duraccio, and Gaming Gladiators blow this one open. What a play from Duraccio. That stun from the tree line, definitely not. It feels like they're going to get a bit, bit of an explosive opening here with these timings. 
of course, Celery, blessed with the Philly. Yep. Love to see that one for him. Uh, in. JB finds one. Hello, Stolen. sir. Stolen again. Pulls him back in. Ravage. Ravage to turn. Now right on top of both. Oh, they clean up with Tofu. It's the damage Duraccio. that they need. And with Duraccio moving into position, Amar has to run away. Sumail also in some trouble. Four staff up to the high ground. LSA, a couple more punches. It's there for the stun. Going to find the kills. <laughs> Clean as can be from Gaiman. Oh, this game. Nigma, they tried to play aggressive, but now they get hit by what? I think a four or five. Next on to the Lina, but Aegis going to be reclaimed, and Duraccio still at full HP pretty much. And I think they're just going to keep going. They're going to look to close this game out. They're at such a massive advantage. And the lasso again connects there. The stun comes out. Waller's punch to try and stop it, but Amar doesn't get a spell off there. Only damage dealt was by virtue of corrosive skin. They kill off Kuro. He's going to buy back. No buyback on Amar. Sumail in trouble. Ravage. Ravage is going to connect. Knew there was no BKB. Second Ravage to Rachio. They find MC2. Went right into that stun. The fear is going to connect. Gaming Gladiators running down and killing Nigma with no more buybacks. That is going to end it. GG is called. Putting on a display here in this game. All it takes is like one or two little mistakes. I think that was kind of the nature of the draft that Nico had set them up, set themselves up with versus this Lina versus this Tide. A very comfortable strategy that Gaming Gladiators, they've played this before. Not exactly with the Lina carrier, but with this Tide type of style, this is one of their best strategies.